<laughs> Speaking of that voice, um, the scene in The Equalizer 2, where you, in, in a sense, the movie's about justice, and, and I love it because you're invested in the character, so the action works even better. But um, back to that urgency, the scene where you kind of like confront Miles with like some real life facts. Uh huh. Man, they spelled G U N, son. You got a choice. Make a decision. I want to hear about your environment, what your mama didn't give you, and the white man won't give you no shot. You got a chance. You don't know what death is. You have no idea what death is. I was moved, like literally. And as an artist, I was inspired, but as a human being, I was touched. I mean, I want to ask you, was that even scripted? To me, it felt like a freestyle. It was a bit of a freestyle, you know? We're talking about, don't you can't blame the white man, you can't do this, you can't do that, you know? Because he's not a real killer, and, and like that song, Fed Up, these guys had no love for him. Mm -hmm. The guys he was running with had no love for him, and, uh, and he's not a killer, you know? Uh, Miles, he's not mm -hmm. a killer. He's not a killer. He doesn't really know what killing is. I think... When we, when we meet McCall again at the beginning of the second film, we see he's a bit more opened up. He's more mm -hmm. willing to engage with people, and, 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 he, and, he, and he, he, he opens up to this kid. He, mm -hmm. he, he, he takes him on as a son, and, and uh, so I, I really appreciated that the writer wrote that story. Mm -hmm. that, that was the reason to do it for me. That's the reason I did it, really. So there was some improvisation involved. Absolutely. Come on Fantastic. Now. You know that. Wow. Because um, I had to point the gun at me, right? He, did he stick it in my, at my head? He did something. And I flipped it around. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. 